hey and welcome back to the channel now in this video what I want to do is to basically take a look at uh, a project that I had created some time ago and make some updates to it I've been thinking about a series where I just uh, look at projects in uh, this repository here or on this github organization that I have here and basically I just update them and actually show you how I actually implemented some of these because some of them I just uploaded them and I haven't created any recordings on them but I just leave them uh, public so I think I'm going to do that one such project that I want to update and it's because I've been getting a lot of notifications from github that there are vulnerabilities and it's outdated and stuff like that uh, this is a project that I've created over a year ago so it's been a while um, since I've created it and uh, I decided that I wanted to just go ahead and update uh, this project here I may do a github page pages for it and there are some other changes that I don't like to do as I go along but for now those will be yet to, to be announced so this is the playlist here that I actually use when I was creating um, this application so I, I believe it's called uh, view single page website but it's actually a uh, long center that I had it as in the repository here if I remember correctly so you can see um, the dependency bot here uh, updated it uh, multiple times because of the issues you can see 11 branches and I only have one branch this is the master branch so all of these were created by the bot so what we're going to do is basically just update, see if we can update it in this video. So let's pray that this isn't a total fail. The first thing I want to do is to open my terminal. And I'm going to cd into my dev folder and projects, I believe I have a YouTube. And um, I think we can make a, uh, could make a directory, but I don't think that's necessary. Let's do a git clone. At least not for now and paste that there we're just going to give it the same long center name all right there we go so we're going to see the into long center i'm going to clear this out so we can see it better i'm going to list everything here the first thing i want to do is actually to delete this lock file I think when I was using this, I actually was using NPM, so I might continue with NPM because I, I already have NPM in there, so I might just continue with NPM, but for, for sure, what we want to do is actually uh, delete this lock, um, this lock, this package at lock file because it's, it's going to have a lot of stuff that is not, uh, I think it's going to bring back the stuff that, that's at the version that that is not the most latest but is the one that that when we are actually created uh the project you can correct me if i remember i think that's that's what i think that it does so let's exit out of this uh first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove the package at lock file so now we should now have a package at lock file and again i said that i was going to use uh npm to do this so let's do an npm install and let this uh install back all the packages that that is needed including the node modules folder all right there we go so personally i prefer to use the because this this actually took a minute uh so we have some vulnerabilities actually 16 six of them is high 10 is moderate and um yeah so that means it hasn't necessarily updated the package to the latest version so if we go to the package at json file you can see what the dependencies that we have is bulma node sas sas loader view view router and the vx store i don't know why i have the vx store because i don't think i actually use it in in this um in this project actually uh actually don't think I use it so if we can see the into source and if I ls in here we I'm going to the store we have an index folder but I actually don't think I I used um, this here see there's nothing in it 
what I want to do is to actually go ahead and um, run this project um, so npm run serve and then we can look at it you can have an idea of what it looks like and then we can um, go ahead and, and start to update the packages that, that are needed all right open this here and this is pretty much what it looks like long center logo uh, something of a logo i guess home page we have route to about us contact us page and we have this basic little text here and uh, pretty much it if we switch over this is what it looks like i want to believe that this is responsive we get a contact us page and this is all created using the balma css framework let's see here so uh i guess it's not all that responsive we can probably fix that in um later videos but for this one we're just looking at updating um this here all right so first things first we're not using the 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 store so let's get rid of the store so we're gonna do npm uh i think it's uninstall ux and we can just do that all right there we go so now we can go ahead and uh cd into source and i want to cd into the store first then we're gonna do a remove for the index that j uh, that j js file cd back out then we're going to remove directory and this would be the store directory and now we should not have a store because the only thing that we're using is the main is the router and the views so we don't necessarily need um the store so that's just a waste if we cd out and uh, nano the package.json file then we should not see the vx store in here anymore and these definitely need to be updated uh, so what we're going to do now is just to do a uh, npm updated I believe alright so there we go we have two outdated packages and actually no it actually updated to when I did the, the install it actually updated them I guess to the latest version or to the wanted version usually I don't go for the latest because something may break so I usually just go for the wanted version you can see that they're actually updated to the to the one so what we're going to address now is to is to actually this here so we're just gonna copy this and uh, do the audit fix and run this command here while that runs what I'm actually gonna do is I am going to go over to github.com slash palma and I believe it's palma and see what's the latest version of it I think this isn't the actual website. So let's go to Balma.io. And where I want to be is at here. And this is the latest version here, which is what I believe. All right, there we go. So that run run that. And these are the changes that we are seeing here. We don't really want to do anything that's gonna break, necessarily break it. 
So before I do anything else, I'm just gonna go to the package.json file again. Uh, and uh, we actually have the wanted release, I believe, because this is the latest. I don't think we need the most recent one actually. Uh, breaking changes, there we go. A lot of breaking changes. Because this is the one that we have and this is being deprecated so because there's actually a different way from i think the configuration that i have here is a little bit different from the newest way to configure this thing so um so deleting the package um the package lock JSON actually allowed us to update them automatically let's see the into source and then we're going to nano the main dot js file and uh, there is that there is um this is it there's actually a different way for us this should be gone actually because we're not using this anymore so we should remove this and we should also remove it from here. All right, so we can just save that and exit. Next thing that I want to do is to actually CD into router and then I just open the index.js file. And I want to see something, so this is actually using a good enough um, version of the router, which is good. Uh, so we don't necessarily have to change anything in there. I'll see the out. And I want to actually go into, or I'm basically just looking around at this point just to see um see if there's anything that 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 does that is very old that i actually need to update so in the views we only have these which is perfectly fine i'm gonna open one of these and just look at it yeah so pretty much everything in here is okay so if i do an update now to the latest version of stuff nothing will necessarily break in such a way that that we can't manage it so the first thing that i want to do is actually to uh go to cd out of this actually and then go cd into assets and in here we have these images and if we cd into the sas sas folder then we're going to have this main that sas and this is the one that you that you would have that you saw in uh, the main.js file, which just imports Bulma from from Bulma. But what we're going to do is we're not necessarily gonna do it in this way anymore because the latest from the last time I installed Bulma into a view project, we did not do it in in this way. So we're gonna change how uh, it is configured. So uh, CD. Actually, we're gonna remove. We're gonna remove that. Then we're gonna cd, and we're actually gonna remove the sas directory. Now, now we should not have any of those, and we can cd out. What I want to do now is just to um, configure our main.js file all again, so we can get better support for this. So let's cd into source again, and I'm um, gonna nano main.js, and this isn't how we're going to be doing it exactly. Uh, what we're gonna do is to actually get this from Bulma. So we're looking for this in inside the actual, uh, the actual node modules uh, installation or folder that that we would have. Um, that we would have installed. 
So basically, <clears throat> sorry about that. So basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to Bulma slash CSS slash Bulma dot CSS. And this is where we're getting from. And we could actually go right into the node modules folder and actually find this file here. So that is what we're going to be doing. So we're save that. And what, what I'm going to do is to actually update Bulma to the latest version. So we're going to do a and you can see that I've been using NPM uh, yarn for a lot now. Uh, so we're going to do NPM uh, update, or is it upgrade, Bulma. And we're going to put the latest release, which is going to be 0 0.9.3, and install this. All right, awesome. Uh, next thing still have vulnerabilities uh, so I'm actually gonna just see the out of this folder and then nano the package JSON I know you can see it's not updated it's not updated uh, why is that why is that the case what I'm gonna do is to I'm wondering if I type the wrong command or is it because I may have typed the wrong command let's try update and see if that's the correct command to be to use why can I not find this work? All right, let's just start back over. So it will be npm update. I did, I want to believe we're updating Bulma at 0.9.3, I believe. Let's make an attempt on that. Oh, I actually just see see where I went wrong. Let's let's exit out of this. What happened was that I wasn't in the directory, so you can see that I wasn't actually in the correct directory where the this the package is. So let's just do it again. So upgrade, and that should do the upgrade. All right, awesome. So let us see now if it actually did uh, what it was supposed to do. Still haven't. Am I doing something wrong? Uh, or is it just because this is a little bit different from from our uh, yarn? So let's do npm install and install it the actual version. All right, let's test that again. And there we go. So it's it's installed now. I guess I guess it's because it's a little bit. Um, it's a little bit different from yarn itself because usually when I do yarn uh, upgrade then that's pretty much it uh, the next thing that I want to do in this here is to actually I can I can pretty much remove the no sass and the slap the sass loader because I don't think we actually uh, need need this in here so there's actually only two things that at this point really three things core js because that's something that definitely should be in in all uh view js projects now and actually and also uh just that pretty much so let's go ahead and install so npm install core JS and we should be I think they should give us the latest version in the meantime I actually I'm gonna go to uh, let's go to view so github com slash view JS slash view I believe mm -hmm. 
the latest version for this is 2.6.11 so I'm actually going to install the latest version of view our latest release so let's do that now we should have uh, Uh, where is it? CoreJS install, so this should be, yeah, pretty much the latest version, I believe. Probably the wanted one. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do a npm install, and we're going to install view at uh, 2.6.14. So this should give us the latest version of, of it. All right, awesome. So that's that. Uh, let's go and uh, look at this. So we have the latest version of these. I don't know what the view router, the latest version of the view router is. Let's see here. And the latest is uh, 3.5.2. So let's see here. So that's three point. It's not the latest version. So let's exit out of this, and we're going to update um, the new router. And uh, this is three point five point two, and we're going to install that. All right, awesome. So. Given that that is the case, let's just look at this now. So we have the latest version of all of what we, we basically need for this project. Uh, so now what I want to do is to, these probably need to be updated as well uh, to a uh, near release. But the problem with this project really and really and truly is these we need to remove these so that is what i'm going to do now because we actually don't need them with this late in this sense with this latest version of of Baltimore, if i remember correctly so what i'm going to do is an npm uh npm uninstall and we're going to remove i believe it's sas loader All right, here we go. So you can see one vulnerability drop already. And uh, now we're going to be removing the rest of these. So the other one is node SAS. And if I remember correctly, this is, this is where all the vulnerabilities are, not necessarily in the other projects that I, other stuff that I would have um, removed, I believe. But the project needs to be updated. So that is why I'm actually doing, doing this. All right, there we go. So you can see now, uh, just, we just have 10 moderate vulnerabilities and uh, we can actually go ahead and run the NPM audit fix and see if, if um, this will make any changes. I do, I still would like to update the CLI service and the view router service let's see meanwhile that happens let's see if we can actually find those because i actually don't know where they are so at view slash uh i believe it's cli service uh where is that cannot find it in here so let's do a search I think the search is broken let's see if it will work this time all right so let's go to uh, the npm package And what I want, what I, pretty much what I want is the latest version of this thing. Let's go.
go here actually it was just UCLI so we have 4.5.13 and that's what I'm going to do for this thing here so we're basically just going to update that so we're going to say npm install uh, at view slash CLI service at and we want to get 4.5.13 installed in the meantime the next one that I want to get is the router so at view slash router oh is it I believe it's CLI uh, was it router plugin router I believe it is and this one is the same the same so it's uh, before I do that let's look back at this service for oh it doesn't it doesn't really show an installation for it so I could do the yarn install and it should work just the same but this one this one I may have to do view add router so let's see how that works so pretty much trial and error at this point uh, the Vuex plugin we need to remove that because we're not using it so let's remove that dependency because we're not using it so npm uh, uninstall at view slash cli plugin vuex so we can remove that because we're not necessarily using it all right so that should now be gone there we go uh, before I install anything else I'm actually going to remove the package lock JSON and then I'm gonna do a view add router and see if it and I want to believe well actually I could have done the npm I could actually do the npm install router and then install it at the latest version so I don't have to do that so let's go ahead and do npm install at view slash CLI plugin router and um, I'm going to put the latest version which is 4.5.13 while that installed the next thing that I want to do is just to search for the view CL, well, template uh, compiler uh, is this it? I don't know if this is it uh, no I don't think this is it so let's just search for it in here view template compiler And uh, go over to here. Yeah. So the latest release is actually 2.6.4. So what we're going to do is to, well, still install it. So basically what we're going to do for this is just to install the latest version of this and um, F3. I want the latest version of it because I don't think we actually have the latest version so that's what I'm going to, to install. Why do I think I may have made a, a mistake because this should be installed of the dev dependency so let's I didn't actually install it as a as a dependency as just another dependency 
if I did when we are gonna have to start all over again start over installing this remove it and install it again in the meantime let me just look at this package here mm, pretty awesome so that's that and uh, All right, let's wait until this finishes. All right, here we go. Uh, now, let me see what goes for this now. All right, so we have the latest version of both of these. So we want to just install the latest version of, of this now. And then from there, I didn't make any change, so no. From there, here now we can just go ahead and install view template compiler at uh, the latest release, which would be 2.6.14. All right, awesome. Now, after doing this, what I want to do now is to go ahead and run the audit fix, and we're going to force this so that uh pretty much going to be breaking some stuff but uh we should be good anyways all right now now we have new problems because we have new vulnerabilities okay Let's go to npm outdated. Oh, we don't have anything that's actually I thought I I'd install this to the latest version. So let's let's try it again. So npm install at view just CLI service I want to get 4.5.13 because I'm pretty sure this is what I installed I think one of the problem with this is that some of these as you can see here it depends on a volume or version of copy web pop plugin so you can see where this is kind of messed up. It's kind of messed up. So we are pretty much always gonna be stuck with some some vulnerabilities, some way or the other. But at this point, we're pretty much good because we don't have any uh, severe uh, vulnerability. Most of them are just moderate. If I go back to yarn outdated, then we should have um we shouldn't have any packages that, that are outdated, so we should have the latest version of all packages. So you can see nothing came back. And for our package JSON file, we should have the latest version of pretty much all of these that we're using at this point. And yeah, that should pretty much be it. So we are awesomely set for this thing. So let's just go ahead and do a npm run serve again. See if this actually uh, is working the way that it should. All right, awesome. Let us do a hard refresh on this. And there we go. Everything is still intact. Nothing is, everything is where it's supposed to be. If I go to the responsive version, we still have this small issue that I may address. I may not, depending on how I feel, but this is pretty much it as it relates to uh, updating or fixing vulnerabilities. Because as you can see, we kind of have to have some moderate vulnerabilities 
unfortunately it's that uh, a lot because the dependencies that we have uh, require some dependencies that are vulnerable but our project on a sense is not necessarily in a fully vulnerable state it's just the package that we're using which somewhat kind of just ties into it just being vulnerable and that, that is something that is totally out of our control unless we're going to be fixing uh, the, the actual packages that we depend on which has the vulnerability but that is pretty much it for for this video uh yeah so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one